Grams. Hello, I'm Grams. Are you ready to have some fun and read? Awesome. Okay, go ahead and get comfortable in your favorite spot. And let's see what we're going to read today. Today's book is Froggy's First Kiss, written by Jonathan London. In this story, Froggy has a crush on the new girl in class, Frogalina. With Valentine's Day around the corner, will he give her a special Valentine card? Let's see what happens. It was the week before Valentine's Day, and for Froggy, Valentine's Day meant candy, but it also meant love. At school, Froggy's mind wandered. Froggy! cried his teacher, Miss Witherspoon. What? Kindly pay attention, dear. And that's when he saw the prettiest girl frog in the world, the new girl in class. Her name was Frogalina, and when she smiled at him, his insides got all soft and wiggly, like he'd had caterpillars for breakfast. Froggy! called his teacher. What? Your eyes should be on your work, dear. It's not polite to stare. Oops, said Froggy. At recess, Frogalina smiled at him through the monkey bars. He was hanging upside down. And when he saw her, he fell smack on his head. Bunk! At lunch, Frogalina sat beside him. She smiled and opened her lunchbox. I have a treat for you, Froggy. Close your eyes. And she gave him a big, juicy apple. After lunch, Froggy and Frogalina played tetherball together. Frogalina wound up, socked the ball, and Froggy was so busy gazing into her eyes, the ball hit him in the head, boink, and knocked him down. At lunch the next day, Frogalina smiled and opened her lunchbox. I have a goodie for you, Froggy. Close your eyes. And she gave him a cookie shaped like a heart. That afternoon, Froggy and his class made valentines. They cut hearts out of paper, some big, some little, some red, some pink. And on just one, Froggy wrote, I love you. He didn't want any of his classmates to see, especially Frogalina, so he worked under his desk. Froggy, called Miss Witherspoon. What? Please work at your seat, dear, and don't make such a mess. When Froggy stood up, he hit his head on his desk, bonk, and everybody laughed, especially Frogalina. At lunch the next day, Frogalina sat beside him again. She smiled and opened her lunchbox. I have a surprise for you, Froggy. Close your eyes. And what do you think she gave him? A big, juicy kiss, smack on his cheek. Blah! spluttered Froggy, looking more red in the face than green. Froggy grabbed his lunchbox and flopped away. Flop, flop, flop. His tummy felt so weird, he couldn't eat his lunch, not even dessert. On the bus home after school, everybody teased him, even Max, his best friend. They sang, Froggy has a girlfriend, Froggy has a girlfriend. No, I don't, cried Froggy. When the bus stopped, he flopped all the way home. Flop, flop, flop. But his heart felt heavy. Was it love? Was it hunger? Was it his backpack filled with Valentine cards? What did you do at school today, Froggy? asked his mother. We made Valentine's, said Froggy. Did you make one for someone special? Froggy turned almost purple and flopped into his room. Flop, flop, flop. But the next morning, on Valentine's Day, Froggy served his mother breakfast in bed and said, Mom, that someone special is you. And he gave his mother the big heart with the I love you. And his mother gave Froggy a whole bunch of kisses, candy kisses. 
That <laughs> froggy, he's always getting into mischief, but he's so adorable. And I love that his special someone was his mom. Do you have someone special? If yes, be sure to take a moment and show them what they mean to you. Thanks for spending time with me today. If you like this video and want to see more, please ask your parents to click the subscribe button. I'll post a new video every Thursday. See you soon on...